All right. So uh, this is going to be a Gemini Sun Moon and as well a rising weekly career and business tarot reading, February 10th to February 16, 2020. And in case any of you guys is interested into a personal reading with me, you can check out uh, the description down below, and uh, there you're gonna find a link to my website and as well a, a link to your other video of the week which is going to focus on a uh, relationship and love. So that being said, moving into the career and business reading for you, Gemini. Now, the first one here, which stands as the topic of your um, business and career, that is going to be the Six of Pentacles, followed by the next one, which is going to be the uh, energies that are feeding and supporting the topic. We do have the Page of Swords into that position. Third card represents the uh, challenges that you will need to overcome throughout the week. That is going to be the six of one of cups, excuse me. Afterwards, what we do have, it is the seven of cups, which stands as the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week. Uh, moving forward, we do have how people are taking on you, what kind of an impression you are leaving into your boss, into your supervisor, into the colleagues around. And that will be the Page of Pentacles. And the final card, which stands as the topic, as the guidance that uh, Tarot is offering to you, we have the um, Eight of Pentacles. All right. So uh, this week for you, Gemini, is really going to call, call to your creative performance uh, in terms of a career in business, that is. So we do have those two cards. And the first one, especially here, which is the very topic, points to how well you fit into the hierarchy of your business, okay? And how comparable you are into following the flow of events because this is what the uh, six of pentacles in term of business and career is it's all about how well you are doing your job and can you really solve the problems that are falling upon you to be to to, to solve them all right and how much you are dependable as well because although you may receive a certain help with the six of pentacles in term of business and career, that help is not going to resolve your issues. At the end of the day, you will have to step up for yourself and do what it takes, what it's needed in order to be successful into the project, you know, or to see the project to its end, for example, to get the job you want or to simply strike, strike the deal you crave for. And the energies which are supporting the topic here, it is the Page of Swords, which points that unexpected source of a um, means, I would say it that way, is going to come around. And... Uh, Oh man, um, those energies are going to put into question. Mm, well, it's difficult to to explain it. So an unexpected source of of help or means are coming around to you, and they are going to put under question how you stand or are you standing on the right spot right now in terms of the hierarchy into the company and into the business that you are finding yourself at. Or in other words, Gemini, you will start getting that awareness that simply you can go for more, all right? But you need to create, to, to, to not to create, but to creatively express yourself and uh, to show that you actually don't need any help for that project, to show that you don't need to be uh, your hand to be held into striking this deal, that you can take the initiative, okay? So this week for you, Gemini, it is the week where you climb into the ladder of the hierarchy while simultaneously showing that you do understand how that hierarchy stands and where the current and the flow of the business that you are participating in, it's, it's, uh, it's leading towards, in other words, you need to show that you fully understand the matter that you are dealing with in terms of business and career. Now, those uh, energies, however, are going to also um, put you in a little bit of the um, field of unsubordination, meaning that 
Uh, sometimes there are going to be conflicts in between you and your co-workers in terms of how certain um, actions needs to be performed, you know, and how certain ideas need to take place and etc, etc. And it is exactly where you're going to understand that you don't need those people around. Okay, you can, you can do it yourself and you can do it even better when you are doing it yourself. And this moves us to the topic and not to the topic, but to the challenges that you need to face in terms of a business and career. And that will be the Six of Cups. And the Six of Cups, it, it does refer to the satisfaction of what you are doing. And uh, I'm sorry, that will be the challenge for you to do things which you're not finding particularly satisfying unfortunately okay so you have to take it that way that every job has its pluses right the positive side but also it has its dirty work right it's just it goes with every job really and uh, at that point you have to turn your glance upon the uh, upon the dirty work that needs to be done so you want to climb into the ladder of the ladder of the hierarchy say you want that promotion or you want to open your own business okay and to show that you don't need your hand to be held in the process meaning that you are independable you are better than others and so on and so forth you have to roll up your sleeves and actually attend to the dirty work and this is what the six of cups here it is all about being creative with your performance while simultaneously you're not afraid to take a challenge you're not afraid to get your hands dirty right and you are determined to do what it's needed and what it takes to see that project through okay to strike the deal with uh, this uh, this customer for example to open your own business etc etc it all that comes to that six of cups here it is that you have to be ready to do what it takes and not just only we do have an expression here in my country but i can't really um translate it into english it's, it's not going to make any sense whatsoever uh, but the thing uh, but the thing here once again it is that you have to approach the situation from a mature standpoint meaning that if your job is a coin and the s it's the good part and the tails it's the bad part of the job you gotta take it all you you just have to you know deal with both of the sides of the job but don't take it um the wrong way guys that opens a lot of uh, a lot of potential here uh once again to to become a leader for example of a team or to uh lay a foundations of promotion or even start thinking of your own thing here with your own business by the way a very good card for creating hobbies into business as well remember we're talking about here as an energies to the uh, original thoughts and original ideas that you're going to have and also unexpected sources of help so uh, and as the six of pentacles is all about the current flow and the hierarchy maybe it's time for you to create your own hierarchy okay and therefore to traverse a, a hobby into or to convert excuse me a hobby into a business and now the other card it is the gifts and the blessings that uh, you are going to enjoy throughout the week that is going to be the seven of cups and when we're talking about gifts and blessings in terms of career and the seven of cups comes around that card shields shields you from a wrong moves okay the very most that you are going to experience from a wrong move it could be a bit of disappointment that it's going to bounce you back into the checkpoint from which you can remake your or redo your thing or retake a the decisions in this time around making them better that is the very least that the seven of cups it is offering in terms of business and career and, and as with everything not only business and career but as a blessing the, the seven of cups sits as the uh ex exceeding uh, ex op no opportunities but uh, kind of like limitations and here it hits with the full application into transforming hobby into business and if i had those cards for a personal reading of mine i would seriously start thinking of doing so just like i'm doing right now as i have transformed my uh 
hobby into tarot cards into business maybe it's time for you to start thinking doing something like that it doesn't have to be tarot cards though but the seven of cups here literally says that your dreams whatever your dreams are in terms of a career are they you know something fallacious and never can take place or are they something that can really grow is yet to be decided therefore do not abandon your dreams here your the gift is uh, from this week it is that you can start at least a little bit to do something for their manifestation now next one here it is how people are going to see you what kind of impression you're going to leave into your co-workers into your boss into your supervisor as well now that is going to be the page of pentacles and it's a great card here first of all you're going to show big devotion and also you're going to uh, present yourself youthful in spirit meaning that nothing can really turn you back nothing can intimidate you there is no project there is no job there is no endeavor that can actually scare you and once you take off OK, once you have been placed with assignment, once you have been placed with uh, with a project, you are going to do whatever you can to see it through. Therefore, people are going to have a big trust in you. They're going to place a big hopes into your capabilities and into your performance as well with the page of uh, Pentacles. But above everything else, people are going to see worth in you, meaning that your boss is going to see that you are worth their while therefore you are a, a big and valuable asset into the company that you're working for uh, or into the business as well and if you are dealing with clients they are going to find you trustworthy okay so you can expect but but but, the, but that's the thing with the page of pentacles it needs time to take off okay so these are traits that you can kind of cash in further into the future not exactly into this week and it needs maintenance okay it's, it's kind of like you have if you want to make an impression into your boss that card it's a uh, sign that you are getting there but you need to keep up with the with the devotion into your job you need to keep up with with the youthfulness into your spirit you need to show that that job means something to you all right especially if this is uh, if you are applying to a job here these cards are a sign that you can definitely take it but only but you need to show yourself as a someone who does care someone who is not there only for the salary at the end of the month and the last card for you Gemini which refers to guidance in term of business and career that is going to be the eight of pentacles so eight of pentacles here points that you have to be prepared for a lot of loads of work that's the first thing second of all uh, that card urges you to kind of like attend to the details okay to the minor things because they will seriously matter moving forward into the future so whatever um task or whatever project whatever de de uh, deed is de is dealt to you to deal with you have to approach it with a, a severe amount of conscientiousness and for those who are planning to open their private business well guys structure your plan because with this card here your plan definitely is gonna at the time is gonna come where your plan is going to be actually executed so that being said guys uh, this was your weekly business and career tarot reading gemini hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and once again if you are interested into a personal reading with me check out the description down below and there you're going to find a link to my website from which you can purchase one a personal reading or if you are interested into your uh, love and relationship tarot reading in the same description down below you're going to find as well a link to it so yeah that being said hopefully we're going to see each other around and until then bye